Hey, it's Tao again. Um, this video is going to be about Taurus. Um, now, Taurus is an Earth sign, first of all. Um, so, Earth being very grounded, very um, it's slow moving, stubborn. It is a fixed sign, so very stubborn. Um, it is very practical, logical. It is everything that Earth or being Earth um, represents been here in this place on this planet <laughs> so it is ruled by the second house which represents finances and money etc and this is essentially how I see personally a Taurus where it is ruled by the planet Venus they say Venus being you know love how you love etc so Finding a partner is, is, I see, very important to a Taurus. Um, I see a Taurus, I don't think it's very Venus, I think it's more so Earth. If, if I had to rewrite it all, I would say that the ruling planet would be Earth, where everything about a Taurus is about through their five senses. So being here, it's stability and having being structured and being successful here, in this place. Um, it is, you know, there's a tendency for Tauruses to, you know, overindulge in their senses because it makes them feel alive. Um, I associate Taurus with nature as well, so whether it be gardening or, you know, growing things <laughs> is, is something that a Taurus likes to do. Um, it is about financial stability, hence why I said the second house earlier where Tauruses like to be comfortable here. Um, and this is essentially tied in with the whole Venus thing, where love and beauty and is about, you know, how they look and how they feel, right? So it is very, you know, essential in the fact where they, they like to feel things that way and they like to, you know, the finer things in life. They like to eat good things and indulge and, and bask in what life has to offer here on Earth. However, I, there is a pull when I, when I look at the number two, being the second sign, I, I see a pull where it's kind of, number one I see as a father, number two is I see like the, the mother where, you know, the first mother, where it, it is very strong and stable and very traditional in a sense, but um, there's a pull on the other side too where it's the opposite, so it could be sensitive as well as, you know, protective so there's there's traits of a father and a mother so it's the the nurturing care you know what that the mother can bring as well as the stability and strength and courageousness that, that, that the father can bring but being an earth sign it is very slow <laughs> Tauruses are very slow moving people you know when it comes to making decisions it, it might not be as quickly done as, as compared to the areas where, you know, they don't think and they just do. A Taurus will probably watch and observe a lot of things and watch people make mistakes and watch people do what they do until until they see, you know, all the possible information that they can retain to be very knowledgeable before they actually make a decision and actually make that move. So it is seen from the external as, you know, I perceive them as very, it's a bit boring. <laughs> Not saying they're boring people, they could be very funny, but, you know, at first, you know, perception, it, like perspective, if I were to just meet a Taurus, it would be very boring. Not much to them. They observe a lot. They probably understand a lot. They're very logical and smart in that way, but they don't, it's not that they talk about what they know and what they see. It's a very, you know, in the background kind of thing. And I, but I personally, being a Scorpio, I personally love Tauruses. They kind of like... The, the opposite to me being a Scorpio, yet they we can get to the same point and we probably understand and this this ability to be able to understand us us as a Scorpio, given we're from the opposite direction, but we can get to the same point and it's like a an understanding. And you know, when I look at a Taurus, you know, there's something about them where there's the facial structure is very square, like and a squarey is what I associate with earth signs and the eyes of a Taurus it's like it's round and because they watch and they like to observe <laughs> but 
you know, if they say that, you know, it's, it's a slow, boring sign, I personally think it's a very smart sign, because when they do make a decision, it is a very smart one, it is a very set one, so you can't really change the decision once they've made it. They might seek confirmation, but otherwise it's very, you know, very set with what they've already decided. It is um, a very passive sign, if anything, but it is, like I said, it, will, it is ruled by Venus, so it is about affection. So it's the, the sense of value in the world as well. So material comforts and financial stability is important. They're very patient. <laughs> They're very, very conservative, um, thorough, I would say too. Dependable, very, very dependable. I could, you know, can rely on a, a, a Taurus to, you know, they'll be good fathers, if anything. They'll be very good to their children. But there is a, a thing where I see in a Taurus where they're pulled in two places. Being that they are one or the other, it's, you know, like they could be, you know, they love to eat, yet they'll be on a diet. You know, they'll go to work because it's their responsible thing to do, yet they want to travel and be free, you know. It, there's always a pull within them that wants to be in another place or wants something else. And, you know, I think this is important for a tourist to know where if you find yourself in that situation being a Taurus, you need to remember why you made the decision in the first place because that decision was a very smart decision because it took you a while to make it. So don't forget that. There will always be a pull in a Taurus to to want something else, you know? like, And if you don't understand this about yourself, you may not be happy with what you have. And I don't think that's right. I think you just need to remember and remind yourself why you made or why you know, the situation you're in and why you've chosen what you've chosen, you know. It was a very smart decision and you can appreciate what's in your life and not always want something that you don't have. Like, there's always a sense where it's in between. So a Taurus likes the... It's always somewhere else. But I do believe a Taurus is a very powerful sign. I think that there's some sort of connection to a Taurus and, um, you know, something bigger. Like, a, whether they, you know, astral project or you know, have prophetic dreams or something like that. Um, there's an ability with a Taurus where it's strong. I think it's here and somewhere else as well. You're very good with being here on Earth, but there's a part of you that's somewhere else. But in your dreams, associated with dreams, but that's how I see that. But if you I look at the negative sides, argumentative, oh my gosh. <laughs> if arguing with a Taurus where they... they you know, very set with what they say and what they see. They may never see how what how you see it because they're so fixed like that, right? But they're very very stubborn. Um, it, look, Tauruses are very patient, but I do see if one if you get to that point where you push a Taurus too far, they're gonna explode and they're gonna explode hardcore because they're so tolerant. Before that, they're very very passive, so it's kind of like really passive aggressive. <laughs> but um. Not in the sense where, you know, the Aries is. The Aries is probably more aggressive in that sense. Where, you know, watch out. If you really annoy a Taurus, that means you really would have pressed some buttons before them to explode. Um, but, you know, they can be seen as materialistic or greedy. And I don't think that's the case. I think that's seen wrong. Where I think a Taurus is just like the comfort. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, living in a good way or living in a comfortable way where you have good things around you there's nothing wrong with that but that's that's how I see the Taurus um I think there's great ability with them so don't don't underestimate a Taurus they know more than what what you what they look like they know <laughs> okay thank you